Assalamu alaikum. The big question, when should I get married? Well, it's not only about marriage and it's not an easy answer to that. It's connected to opportunities that Allah gives you and situations that come up that Allah shows you and proposals that come in your direction that Allah makes happen. So Allah loves all of us enough to give us an opportunity. An opportunity to either get a job or to either do a business deal or to either get married or to either achieve something. Allah dangles these in front of us and lets these big ships dock on our coast at least once. At least once. In most cases, it's only once. In many cases, it happens a few times. In very few cases, it would happen a lot. Subhanallah. Subhanallah. So listen to this. People say, well, I'm studying. I don't know. Should I get married? Shouldn't I get married? I can't just say yes or no. You know, the, the guy might not want me to get married. Remember, I'm talking to a global audience where there are different cultures. People sometimes have arranged marriages. They're not bad, actually, depending on what level of arrangement it is. For as long as the parties are ultimately happy, the, the primary, the bride and the groom have met each other before the marriage and they have spoken to each other and they are both happy, then for as, even if the meeting was arranged initially, it's okay. No problem. Those work actually much better than the others. Sometimes people get to know each other at work or at school and they want to get married. And you know what, my beloved parents, don't just say no to things. Allah sends a brilliant person for your child, sometimes only once. That ship is not going to dock on your coast again. Your opportunity, Allah says, I sent you. I sent you the best of the entire community, the whole city, the best of the entire city. Just because he was of a different nationality, you said no. Well, I told you not to do that. So there it goes. You lost it. And you lost it for everyone. And you are responsible. Why? Because you didn't follow the guidance we gave. We told you, look at the deen, look at the religion, look at the character, look at how, how responsible the individual is. Are they outstanding? If they are, let it happen for as long as both, both principles are happy, meaning the bride and the groom. For as long as they are happy, let it be. It's not easy to release your kids, but you have to because they belong to Allah before you. That's the reason. So you have to let it happen. 